How are you, my dear students? Today, our lesson is about conditionals type 0 and 1. So, give me your attention. Let's start. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to number one, identify conditional structure with if, when, and will types 0 and 1. Number two, use the words if, when, and and will types 0 and 1 to indicate the conditional tense. So we have questions here. In our lesson, we are going to answer the following questions. Number one, when do we use conditional type 0 and 1? Number two, how do we form conditional sentences using type 0 and 1? Number three, how do we form negative type 1 statements. Let's start with the first question. According to the zero conditional, I have an example here. You will concentrate with me to understand. Example number one, if you heat water, it boils. In this sentence, I'm talking about a real situation. In this sentence also, I have something called if it close, if you heat water, and I have something called many clause, it boils. Look at the verbs here in the if clause and in the many clause. If you concentrate, you will decide that the verb here, heat, is simple present. And in the many clause, boils, what tense is this? It is also simple present. So, we can make zero conditional using this rule. If plus present symbol in the if clause, comma, subject plus present symbol in the main clause. So question number one, when do we use zero conditional? We use it to talk about real condition. So we use zero conditional to describe what happens in general. How is that? There's an example here. If water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. It's a scientific fact. It's a general fact. Number two, when we talk about habits, rules, instructions, like what? If you press the right button, the machine starts working. This is an instruction for you. Number two, if you eat a lot, you put on weight. This is a rule for all of us, almost all of us. Number three, if I listen to loud music, I always have a headache. This is a habit. I'm talking about personal habit. A note for you. Instead of if in those sentences, you can use when and the meaning will stay the same. This is all about conditional type zero. Now let's move to conditional type one. According to this conditional, I'm talking about possible condition. If this happen, something else will happen. So, I have a rule for you. If clause and the many clause. In the if clause, we are talking about the condition itself. And the many clause is the result for this condition. In the if clause, I will use if plus simple present verb. In the many clause, I will use simple future verb with the subject. Let me remind you that we can change the order of the if clause using the many clause at the beginning or the if clause at the beginning and you the meaning will stay the same. The difference is in the punctuation marks. If you start with the if clause, you will use comma in the middle. If you start with the many clause, you will not use it. I have an example here. If it rains, you will get wet. Since I started with the if clause, I use comma in the middle. But if I started with the main clause, like you will get wet if it rains, I didn't use commas here. So the function of conditional type one, the function of conditional type one is talking about possible things, 
real things, warning, predictions, and the plans. Pay attention that you can use other modal verb rather than will, like can, like shall, might, instead of will using conditional type one. Now, let's talk about the negative form of first conditional. You can either negate the if clause or the many clause. If we want to negate the if clause, I will use if plus don't or doesn't. Plus infinitive form of the verb, subject plus will plus infinitive verb, verb a form of the verb in the main clause. If I want to negate the main clause, I will follow this rule. If plus present symbol, comma, subject plus will not plus infinitive form of the verb. I have examples here, please concentrate. If you walk slowly, you won't catch the bus. Here, I negate the main clause. Here, sentence number two, if you don't hurry, you will miss the bus. Here, I negate the if clause. Now, let's practice using conditional type one. Number one, you are a teacher and you want to warn your students that they have a homework to do tomorrow. Otherwise, they will have a trouble. What will I write? I will use if clause and may clause. If you don't do your homework, you will be in trouble. Number two, you are talking with your friend and you want to warn him not to be late to work for work tomorrow. So what will you say? Think about it and let me know. Number three, you are a politician giving a speech and you promise to do many different changes if people vote to you. What will you say? Use conditional type one and let me know your answers. This is all about conditionals type zero and one. Now you have a task to do. Question number one, put the verbs in brackets into the correct tenses. Sentence number one, if I see him, I give him a lift. Number two, the table will break if you sit on it. Number three, if he eat all that, he will be ill. Number four, if I find your passport, I telephone you. Number five, the police arrest him if they catch him. Number six, if he read in bad light, he will ruin his eyes. Number seven, someone steal your car if you leave it unlocked. Number eight, what will happen if my parachute not open? Number nine, if he wash my car, I will give him $10. Number 10, if she need a radio, she can borrow mine. Number 11, if you not go away, I will call the police. Number 12, I will be very angry if he make any more mistakes. Number 13, if he pee late, we will go without him. This is all for today. Remember, if you change, everything will change around you. So work hard. تذكروا أعزائي يمكنكم مشاهدة هذا الموقف التعليمي أكثر من مرة باستخدام الرابط أدناه. إلى اللقاء.